And please make sure that you stay glued to the channel. We'll bring you more updates as and when we start full coverage of the National Science and um, Mass Quiz. And we know that you also enjoyed that live launch of the event in itself. But in the meantime, we'll keep you updated as to how the Canadian girls, two of them, were rescued by the Ghana Police Service, the National Security Apparatus, uh, in collaboration with the Canadians themselves. But in the meantime, we told you about how we need to have that discussion um, related to the Black Stars because we already know that the head coach, Kwesia Pia, has released a squad list, a 23-month squad list. We have to do the discussions in it. But look, let's look at um, the list itself. We have goalkeepers Richard Ofori. We also have Lawrence Atizigi. And of course, uh, Felix Annan. When you come to the defenders, we have some regulars uh, in there. John Boy is there. We also have uh, Jonathan Mensah. But there have been some new introductions. Uh, J uh, Joseph Atama, uh, Joseph Edu, and Kasim Nuhu. Uh, in the meantime also, uh, we have uh, making a comeback, Abdul Babaraman, who has come back to the team. And that's a good thing, uh, at least beefing up the squad for the Black Stars as they head to Egypt. For midfielders, we have regulars Mubarak Wakaso, uh, Thomas Pate, who plays for Atletico Madrid, Efria Aqua, and the captain Andre Dede. Are you also in there? Is uh, Christian Achu of Newcastle and uh, Kojo Asamwa making a comeback to the team? He plays for Inter Milan, but uh, we also have Samuel Usa out there. And for the forwards, we'll go with the regulars Jordan Ayu and the man himself. But in the meantime, we have to do some discussions on all these. And um, who better than to have Ridwan Ibrahim Asante help us do some discussions? Uh, he is with uh, a sports team. Good morning to you. Good morning, Roland. Mm. Should, we, should we be excited about this list? I, I don't... Or, or, or we've just gotten what we have? Maybe. Just maybe. <laughs> maybe um, this is what can give us a title. I think we've gone into the Nations Cup with um, a more... Um, bigger squad mm. in terms of profiles mm. and still uh, we've been unable to win. You know, sometimes when you under promise, mm. you can uh, over deliver. You know, sometimes it's, it's, it's good to under promise and then go in and then deliver than to <laughs> over promise and then you uh, under deliver. So yeah. um, this is what I can say with the squad. Um, we can have questions about it. We can you know, question some players who are supposed to be, you know, outside and some who are supposed to be inside as well. But the coach has spoken. He needs the support. And we have to be hopeful because um, Zambia won it, you know, not with the best of scores we can have on the continent. They didn't have players playing in the Italian Serie A, the English Premier League, players coming from China, or some in, you know, in Vietnam, <laughs> coming to join Zambia. And then Zambia went ahead to win the Nations Cup because a tournament um, atmosphere is even from a club atmosphere. Mm. And some teams, yes, some teams have come and won with them big names. But even when Nigeria won it in South Africa in 2013, yeah, they didn't have that sort of, um, you know, classy team, you know, that we saw in 1994. That was the big, you know, South um, Nigerian team um, that, that played war. And, it was and, Sunday or Lise and many you know, other. Right? That was that was a big squad. You mm -hmm. know, Nigeria used to have. You know, Nigeria always go into tournaments with big name players, players um, playing at the highest level in Europe. Even before we started having, you know, our players in Italy and Germany and in England as well, where we had, you know, those um, high profile marquee players in our team. So, it's it's one thing picking, you know, selected players, and then it's another having them gel. You know, not, 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 we don't have so many players. Some players react, you know, funny when they are in camp, you know, very idle. Everything is um, the same, monotonous, very from routine. hotel, you know, to training, back to hotel, the same bed, not going outside. You know, the environment even can affect, you know, a player's performance. Um, some players adjust well mm. and they're able to um, find their groove. And, and so that's, that, that, that should be it for the, for the squad. Uh, usually for a normal team, uh, once you have um, some very good defenders, you have some, some important players who can not only get the game going but change games even if they have to come from the bench and ultimately have some good forwards, uh, two at least, um, that will keep your team going. 
but if we take a look at our forwards, we've had um, consistently Asamwaja and, and then also Jordan Ayu. But uh, we, we've not had uh, them consistently also scoring for their club sides. Yeah, that, that's, that's a big worry. Um, you know, club football is supposed to be the rehearsal for the major competition. Asamajan hasn't been scoring because of um, his health issues. Mm. Jordan struggled for game time on loan at um, Crystal Palace. You know, scored just one goal. And it's a major issue. But the national team has always been a different, you know, ball game altogether. We've seen players who have um, struggled at club level and failed to glitter or sparkle at some um, national team. We've seen players also, you know, score goals, you know, in national teams and then struggle at club level. Um, is the is is, is um, the best player or the reliable player who is able to maintain his form, you know, both at club level and also in the national team. That's how come they always or always every time, you know, get the awards and the and the accolades. So mm. yes, you can have issues with our you know, players not scoring and the goals being dried up, but national team can be different. All right, so we have uh, Sam Johnson, uh, a former member of the Black Stars, former player, has played in Turkey, has also played uh, for some considerable uh, teams locally as well, especially uh, we know him for Hats of Folk. But uh, for you, good morning to you, sir. Uh, good morning. Mm. Uh, what, what gets you excited about the team that Kwisiapia has named? We know that we don't have um, the caliber of players that could measure up to some of the top teams or even the standard of the Black Stars a few years ago. But we still do have a team, don't we? Yeah, yeah let, let me have this opportunity to greet anyone uh, who is watching this morning. I think um, we still have a team that can uh, I mean, do something for us. Though they are not like maybe seven years or eight years ago or maybe five years ago. They are not, I mean, the strength is not there, but uh, they can still do something if only we give them the support. And... Uh, that they need, they can still come. I, 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 before listening to one of your, uh, I don't know whether you call the person, you were saying something which is very, very important. Sometimes uh, we don't support our own, mm. especially some people can play the national team, maybe in their team, they are not playing, but when they go to the national team, they play good in the national team. Why? Because they have their own support that the, the nation. Mm. Is giving them so they perform. But it's like Ghana here, we keep criticizing the boys as soon as the, the, the squad, I mean, the, the names come out. We started, oh, why don't you call this? Why do you leave this? Why do you do that? Why do you do that? But at this moment, we don't have anything to do. The, the name has been mentioned, and that is where we are, what we are taking there. So we have to support them and see what will come out from them because we know them already. Mm. We know what they can do, though they are not like before. But with our support, I think they can bring back their form and do what we want them to do. Mm. And, and it's uh, on, on that level, your contribution, that I will ask this question. Um, when you have experience in past Nation Cups, and even though you're not on top form, you go to the tournament, how does your experiences, not only playing the qualifiers and the other friendlies with the national team, but in a tournament setting, tend to help you to uplift your game to the standard that will be appreciable to all? And that, that is exactly what I'm telling you. All I need is support. So with your support, with, uh, with the nation's support, that will bring me back on top of my game. Because if the nation is criticizing me, Mm. And I'm hearing it. it will, I'll, I'll, I'll go down. Mm. But when I see that the nation is with me, whatever is down in me, I'll make sure that it will come up because everybody is with me. It will bring me up and then put it. And like, like you are saying, it's all because I've been there before. So I don't have any pressure playing in there. So then with the support, that will help me to bring back. Like now, I can mention the baby as the boy is not playing too much games. The baby is not playing. Most of them are not playing in their face. I mean, 11, only few of them, maybe 50 or 40 percent is playing regular. So that is why they need our support more because we know what they can do. Everybody can tell me, can tell me that they don't know what.
what Asamoa can do. They don't know what Dede can do. They don't know what other old players can do in the team. Yeah. Maybe they have done it before, but now they are coming down. It's up to us to support them yeah. so that they will, they will boost their their confidence and everything so that they can help the young ones in the And then before they will leave, the young ones also can take over and then we will, we will go keep going forward. Okay. Beyond all the talk of support, etc., and this will be my last question, though. How yeah. do you think we're going to measure up? with some of uh, the top teams in the tournament. Even, let, just, let, let's even talk about our, our group. Uh, we have Cameroon in there, and Cameroon seem yeah. to be the biggest of the boys in there, for example. Yeah, you are, you are right. But you know, it is us who, are, who, don't, who don't have belief in our team or in our players. Now, but let me tell you, fans, those Cameroonians, they are scared of Ghana. If the name Ghana alone, they are scared because they know in Ghana you can bring anybody and that person will do something. So they are scared of Asamoah, they are scared of the days and uh, Mateus and other, they are scared of them. But because they are our own, we think we know them too much, so they can't do anything. And I'm telling you, when we support them, they're because they're opposite countries, they know they are playing with Ghana. Yeah. And the name alone, Ghana, is a fear okay. to them. So we just have to support the guys. And I'm telling you, when we support them, they can do something good for us. Well, thank you for your contribution. Uh, former defender uh, and then also a member of um, the Black Stars, a former player for the Black Stars as well. And thank you uh, for speaking to us. Sam Johnson uh, had been on the line. We're opening the phone lines now. You'll find them displayed on your screens. But... Uh, these are our lines. We have two of them. 03022116912. or 2. Again, let me just um, uh, run this by you. 03022116912. or 2. I have uh, also a former player, a uh, striker for the Black Stars uh, during his day, uh, Augustine Ahimfo. Good morning to you, Mr. Ahimfo. Morning. What, what, what gives you solace? What, what gives you comfort in this team? Because everybody else is scared. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't know why they are scared. I am not because probably I have played the game before and so I know how to support the team. Mm. So I'm not afraid at all. Um, if you look at the team, where lies our strength? The strength should lie in the word team. You just said team. <laughs> the strength should lie within the team. How effective we are going to be with our format and uh, strategies going forward. Uh, in defense, into attack, in transition, and also in transition into in defense. And so it behoves on, on, on the technical team in charge of the team to, to build that good team that we all want to see. Mm. You're, you're very familiar with members of our group, right? Uh, Cameroon, yes. Benin, uh, Guinea-Bissau, not really. but. Uh, nowadays, you cannot count anybody out. Mm. And, and a tournament is, is a tournament. I remember, <clears throat> I remember in 2012, proud to the World Cup, uh, in 2010, proud to the World Cup in South Africa, uh, and we had to go to the tournament uh, for the African Cup of Nations early January. We had, we had just won the under-20 uh, World Cup in Egypt uh, in 2009, December. So we decided to rope in a couple of, or many of those players, and they went to do considerably well. Nobody had the hope in them. Um, in, in a tournament setting where, you know, the national support for the team is not really available, or it's dwindling or dim, uh, how does that uplift the players when they go into a tournament set setting and ultimately spring a surprise? Thank you. Uh... It's not only 2010. Look at 2015 as well. Mm. The, the issue that happened in Brazil 2014 had really trickled down to, I mean, the level of uh, the support very low at the time. But we went to Equatorial Guinea without that expectation, and the team did so well, like you did rightly state for 2010. When it is like that, the players want to showcase and let the public know that indeed they are there to play football and to help Ghana enjoy should we uh, eventually be, be the winners.
And so they go out there and perform uh, to to the, another level that we, we, we really don't expect. But, yeah. I mean, it's, it's about how we speak about this team, especially on radio and, and, and on the media landscape that has brought us this far. We, we should know that the national team, it, it's a periodical thing. But it looks as if that here in Ghana, from January until December, <laughs> it's only about black stars. And it, it has brought us to where we are, as we speak, in terms of support. Yeah. Because some, 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 some of them are so negative to the extent that one does not even feel, uh, I mean, that strength to come and play for the Black Stars again. Mm, but mm. I think that as a people, we should look at that and, and, and deal with it uh, in, a, in a very fair way. I'm not saying that the players cannot be criticized, mm -hmm. but I'm saying that we should look at how we criticize them. Because yep. don't forget, they also have families here. Yes. You are so hopeful. So whatever, whatever we say get to them mm. almost every day. So we, we need to be very careful, especially on, on the radio. Well, thank you very much, uh, August and Ahimfo. Mr. Ahimfo, uh, 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 a former football player himself and also a member of the Black Stars during his time. Uh, but uh, let's go straight away onto the phone lines. We'll take uh, about two calls, and then we'll come back to Redwan to wrap up on many of the discussions related to uh, the Black Stars and, and their participation in Egypt 2019. We have Julius Doche from Ho. Julius. Julius. Hello, good morning. Yeah, please, your contribution straight away. Yeah, I'm so, much, I'm, I'm so much happy about the squad. and You know, you don't have to look down on anybody, even though some of the players, you know, so much familiar with them. Mm. But I'm so much uh, sure that we've got an attack going to win this tournament. Okay. If, they, if, if only uh, they, they would forget about this politics and other things. Focus, let's just support them. Mm. I, I bet you we're going to win this tournament. <laughs> well, that's a, a hopeful Julius Doche, obviously a, a football fan. Uh, we have uh, Francis Idrisu. Good morning to you. You're calling us from Tema. Okay. Uh, Fr Francis Idrisu. Mr. Idrisu. Uh, good morning. Yeah, you're calling us from Tamale. Yes, please. Mm. Your yeah, contribution. I just want to contribute my quota to your program. Please. We're talking the Black Stars. Your contribution. Red one. Some comments. Um, I think Augustine and Sam, you know, did justice to um, the squad. You know, the, the, there's nothing to gain from being um, uh, negative. I, I think we have to be positive. And sometimes the positivism will get to the players. Yeah. You know, they talk about, you know, this player does not deserve to be there. You know, somebody must get a chance anyway. In any way, in life, somebody will have to, you know, set out and somebody will also get opportunity. We we're here when Avram Grant decided to bring in a player from the fourth tier in England, you know, Kusia Pia. And he, he ended up being a poster boy of the team in Equatorial Guinea. So it, yes, there'll be omissions. And some evictions will raise our eyebrows. But when the turn of everything is over, the squad is finalized, I think, show this to the wheel. Let's give them the support. Let's ensure that we can help them, you know, keep their noses to the grindstone. And what I've noticed is that for you, those who have been around sports and those who have supported the Black Star, we seem to be having an open mind. Yeah. Why? Uh, it's, it's because we've realized that... Um, We've gone into tournaments before, or our actions are influenced by history. We've gone into tournaments before with um, big name players and still not been able to achieve it. We've seen countries come in with virtually bench warmers <laughs> and won the nations. <laughs> and um, the current champions, um, that's the, the, uh, the, the guys in our book. Yeah, and they, the last time they wiped up their main team. Yes, and brought in some... they brought in the second string team. <laughs> yeah. And they won, you know, the Nations Cup. Yeah, we can take some inspiration from that. Absolutely. We? Thank you very much.
Thank Red you, One, Ibrahim Asante. Uh, and uh, he's been interacting with us um, relating to the Black Stars. And please make sure you're familiar with the, the squad. It's important. But also get behind the Black Stars. They are participating in that tournament in Egypt. Egypt 2019, it is for the African Cup of Nations. And make sure that you're always with our hashtags and then also our social media platform. Join us on TV on Facebook, I join us on TV, which is our Twitter handle. And we'll bring you more uploads through my Online TV, which is on YouTube. But look, let's um, have some entertainment wrap up of the news next. <laughs>